So, good morning everyone. I believe you are doing great. So, I'm Ashutosh Singh. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, Kubernetes cluster setup. Uh, for this, you already have to, you know, understand about Kubernetes. So, by assuming the same fact that you know about Kubernetes, so we are going to, you know, talk about uh, Kubernetes cluster deployment on top of Amazon Cloud, right? So, whenever you want to deploy Kubernetes cluster, there are, uh, you know, methods. So, I'm going to use kubeadm software. And this is for, you know, anywhere when you have all the next based VMs or data center or mainframe. So, you can use this software to install Kubernetes anywhere independent of platform, right? So, I have already these uh, three VMs ready. So, this cluster is all about, you know, uh, one master and two workers right hopefully you already know about kubernetes there is a master and worker and if you use that so definitely uh, in that case you're going to you know deploy these clusters so i have one master and two worker node ready around uh, you know i have uh, four gigs of ram minimum requirement in both side and a two core cpu i have in both way and around minimum 50 GB hard disk so 50 GB HDD we have so I'm using Amazon Linux right other next by Amazon you can use uh, CentOS Ubuntu Fedora whatever right so let's start so uh, here if you see here in my Amazon cloud I have this three machines ready one two three and uh, I have logged in also by you know root account so this will be my master worker and worker so i have three node so uh, i have steps ready here so you can just cross check all the steps so as a prerequisite you need to you know follow this in all system first let's disable slnx everywhere right so i'm just uh, using this although i have also written a blog so what I'm doing, I'm just copying and paste from there. So this is my GitHub username. And here I can go in my repos. Then uh, I can search for k s So steps are written here. You just have to follow. And I'm going down. You can just read about it. And every system I have to, you know, just disable this. This is an X factor already disabled, but not a problem. Maybe in some system you don't have. So this step will, uh, you know, disable SLNX persistently even after reboot. So I'm doing this in every machine, right? So, all right, both the steps. Now this is kernel bridge driver. When you learn Kubernetes, you will understand why we need to enable it. So I'm just, uh, enabling kernel bridge driver for networking so in my future video you will be uh, understanding why this is required actually and uh, then i'm activating that bright driver so mod prob is a command in loading in the next to load kernel driver I'm, I'm activating that driver by you know supplying that parameter all set now if you have a swap memory right so in future i'll be discussing about why swap memory is not required during the installation by qbdm sorry i have to copy it so anyway so swap memory is off persistently it is only required during the installation by qbdm otherwise we can change some setting to make it but let's make it simple after installation you can turn on it so you need to install this software so let me make a checklist so i have here so one step done done and done now install docker and kubedm in every system as written here all system right so before installing uh, let's create a yum repo in any of the red hat based system so in amazon linux i'm creating this this is nothing it's a base url from amazon cloud sorry from google cloud and uh, so steps is written just copy and paste you don't have to do anything 
right make sure it is on amazon linux then i'm installing uh, you know docker and kubedm both in all the machines i'm copying it and uh, just hit again copying and here as well right so it's wait for installation so here you can check the installation is done for docker and kubernetes because kubernetes use docker on any of the container engine now after this i have to enable the service of docker and kubelet right about kubelet i'll be you know introducing another video to, about the components so you have to wait till that time and in every system as of now all steps are in every machine right so that is done now after this i have to come in the master you know system so now the steps will be in the master node in my case master node is the first one right so i'm going here and this command you have to uh, just hit what this command will do this command will download some docker image from uh, google cloud as an image and it will launch some you know pod that will discuss in future future and where everything will be uh, you know running as a kubernetes component this option i'm supplying because i am uh, making sure i want to use kubernetes networking pod networking um, uh, calico so i'll tell you the reason why this is you know because this is by calico not uh, manually i'm taking so it will take some time depending on your internet speed and as you can see here so let's wait for the time so it can take some time let's wait see it is down downloading certificates and everything it can take up to four minutes that depends so meanwhile uh, the system is ready so i can tell you something about you know uh, kubernetes pod networking so pod you will understand in future so pod is like a container for understanding right and uh, to you know assign ip and couple of things we need to use some networking project in kubernetes and i'm using calico right i'm using calico and for using calico we have to use this the link is given here for official kubernetes blog so you can just check here why this uh, series is being used anyway so for me master node is almost ready i have to follow some step to complete this installation just copy and paste on the master node so it is already given by and uh, right now the final step so in future videos i'll be telling you what we are doing and then these things so kubernetes master generated a token and that token you have to copy and paste and paste in the worker side that's it so i'm copying this and i'm pasting it to the worker side enter and here as well enter it can take few seconds see now your both the worker has joined so in future you can just you know save that token or can generate it as well and keep joining worker node to check here it is written you can use kubectl get nodes to check number of nodes guys finally the cluster is ready but still they are not in ready state the reason is if i show you the history right we initialize that networking but we have to apply the calico driver so in my github blog it is also written how to apply calico plugins 
this step you have to do in master node only right this one applying and enter yeah so that's done now you can check nodes so almost it will take few seconds right not ready it's you know the ready condition and just hit another yeah done so now you can you know just use the Kubernetes cluster and just stay tuned for future and please subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep yourself updated thank you guys bye bye